Gyukaku. Gyukaku is one of my favorite Japanese like barbecue place. It's very nice because I always want to hang out with friends, have some barbecue, pork belly, beef, with some sake, sake bomb, you know, put some sake in, in the beer. That's going to be like wonderful, right? Because today is Friday. It's a perfect time to get drunk. Well, not not that drunk, right? Because I still have to vlog, right? I still have to show people, show you guys, right? What that Guga could look like. This is a Japanese restaurant and it just opened in Richmond and lots of people lining up, right? We came here around, I would say around 6.30? Oh, oh, around 6 o'clock. And then we went inside and they said, oh, you guys have to wait for an hour. So we went, we went around, we go nuts. Here we are. So we are we are back and let's let's go and eat. You know it's quite different from the one in downtown, right? Because in downtown it, it feels like a restaurant, but here I kind of feel like eating in a warehouse because the ceiling is quite tall. See, it's quite high, and it's not full of people. Oh, there are full of people, but not enough tables, I guess. So it feels like the aisle. The L was uh, very wide. It feels like it feels like a, a a working space or something like that. A very creative working space. That's that's right. You know, warehouse and working space. Uh, yeah, it was decoration was really nice. Uh, I see lots of cow on the wall. The cat was over there. Um, yeah, it was quite nice. Uh, I would say it smells really good because I basically can smell it from like Lansdown Hall because it's basically like uh, 400 meters away so still so you can smell it so although you waited for an hour when you get in you still have to wait right and also you have to wait your friends right because friends don't normally come on time and even they come on time you still cannot eat right away right so you have to wait so in Vancouver the weekend will start with waiting Oh yeah, baby, finally we got seated, right? Friends are smoking outside, so we have to wait for a bit as well. See, we're gonna go with, um, so, Gyukaku, right? Looks really nice. They have happy hours. Ah, interesting. And we're probably gonna go with some set, because um, now, we got like 80% off, so I oh don't know, 20% off. Sorry. So we have seven people, so we're probably gonna go with the number six uh, for $130, and then we're gonna order a little bit extra on that. So what we got is some salad. Yeah, who, who cares about salad in a barbecue place? Edamame. Yeah, I don't know. Sweet potato fries. Well, to fill the girl's stomach. We need beef. Yes, beef. Kiwi bun, rice. Rice six. And what else you got? You got miso, you got uh, you got uh, chicken sh uh, ch chunk short sh sh short rib. Uh, anyway, we'll see when it comes, right? So the bad thing to do, the best thing here is the, the, the big boy, right? Big boy. With all these uh, cold. Yeah, so they freeze it. So now you, you pour beer in it. It's, it's gonna be quite quite cold, right? Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, shit. You shouldn't pour beer. Yeah, see? They just pass the cup and you have to serve them, you know? This is what we call the dirty pour in Chinese. Then they're not gonna be too much bubble. Dirty pour, dirty pour. Deep fried chicken, that's all right. It's good, but um, I guess that's not what we are here for, right? So we're here waiting for the beef. And 
Enough of the beer. We're gonna have a sake bomb. You just need a need a shop and pour in. My weekend starts with a drink and a barbecue. What about yours? You're gonna hear that. <laughs> The sweet sauce. They give you like a. Um, you basically can put three kinds of uh, sauce here. Ah, this one. What's this called? Spicy. I like spicy. A little bit more. And uh, what's this? Panzu sauce. Oh, interesting. Let's, let's do it. So now I am going to use some of the beef. The tip a little bit uh, spicy. Have a try. Very juicy. A little bit raw, a little bit rawness in it. Like it. You can come and enjoy yourself too. See you next time.